Hello everyone. Welcome to the second tutorial of the third person shooter multiplayer series. In this tutorial, we will be talking about third person controller. Believe me, the following tutorial is going to save you a lot of time. So let's get started with our project. In our scene, we have camera, directional light, third person controller, aim and surrounding. Here at Shepherds, we have developed a third person controller template which is compatible with any of your characters. So you don't have to worry about scripting, animating and animators. Isn't that awesome? I mean all that hectic stuff has been taken care of by us. Let's begin with setting your character with our template. Go to the character folder. There you will find SWAT and Intergalactic Soldier as an example character. And please note, all your characters must be imported as humanoids in order to work with our templates. Let's begin with dragging SWAT character into the third person controller. Now if you play the game, you will have your character moving around. Well, it is working pretty good, isn't it? This might look easy because I am doing it. But it actually is. It's not rocket science. If you wish another character to work on our scripts, again you have to drag your character into the third person controller. And yes, of course, you have to disable your previous one. This way, again, your new character will be present in the game based on a template. See, I told you it was easy. Now, if you notice, we are having this error which says, unassigned reference exception which means you have some variables left assigned so let's fix them go to the third person controller there you will notice spine muzzle and shell transforms are left empty let's start with the empty spine transform select your character and in that Select its spine, which is spine 1 in this case. Drag this spine 1 in the empty spine transform. Again for the empty muzzle and shell transform. Here I will select my gun which is M16 in this case and drag muzzle and shell into the empty muzzle and shell transform. Now if you play again, this player will work flawlessly without any error. Our controller can now aim and fire. Isn't it cool? For more information on third person controller template, please refer to the link given below. It would be great. Thanks for watching. 